Well, I guess, uh, yes, I guess I'm biased. I can think that there's been a significant uh, improvement in, uh, in regulations, if nothing else, because uh, in this case, uh, Fisheries and Oceans Canada has, uh, has endorsed the, uh, the principle of the three-step process promoted by uh, the Independent Veterinarians uh, Working Group. So from that perspective, I think it has improved. Uh, maybe there is more of an effort on the part of um, uh, f Fisheries and Oceans Canada and also people like myself to explain really to the sealers the basis behind those regulations. There has been more of an effort to do that rather than coming with regulations and say, here they are, uh, you uh, obey by them or you'll be in trouble. Now I think the attitude, and at least that's what uh, and is very much my attitude. Here, sealers, there are a number of recommendations which have been translated into regulations, and these are the reasons why we think it's, uh, it's um, something that is logical and uh, something that is practical, that is easy to understand and implement. And by explaining that to you, um, we hope that you will adhere to them. I don't know, really. My only experience is with a number of workshops that I participated in in Newfoundland a year ago uh, that was organized by the Free Institute of Canada with the support of, in this case, the province of Newfoundland. And uh, I think uh, the sealers, by and large, uh, received those regulations very well because people like me were there to explain the basis behind those regulations. So uh, uh, to me, I was, I, was very, uh, I was very pleased with the reception that the sealers gave us when we came there to uh, explain to them um, what we think the sealing industry should become or what the sealing practices should become.